Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the OnePlus 7's Oxygen OS port for a Redmi Note 7 Pro based on Android and Dubai and June 2029 is a great batch. So without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, first of all, let's move into the settings. Uh, then let's move into our board phone. And here you can see it shows uh, OnePlus 7's uh, picture and here are the specs of OnePlus 7 but this is our Redmi Note 7 Pro so yeah here you can see Android version 9 June 1 and the kernel version 4.14.81 which is the Redmi Note 7 Pro stock kernel and you can see the original OS version is 9.5.7 and here we have the status so you can see SIM status and all of the stuff here the uptime and everything and yeah here is some OnePlus stuff you can change the name to Redmi Note 7 Pro 2 if you want yeah just some casual stuff also guys as if this is a OnePlus 7 port we get the OnePlus 7 wallpapers which are really great also we get the live wallpaper so you need to move into wallpapers and select these live wallpapers whichever you like so I'll choose this one press the home button and voila these are the live wallpapers and it looks really great on our device even if it's not an AMOLED device but yeah you can see uh, the swipe up and yeah the live wallpaper effect and it looks really awesome so yeah that is why i like this oneplus 7 os uh, port now let's move into the settings to check some oneplus uh, stuff now this is the launcher and we'll just quickly go into the settings oops and you can see this is the oneplus uh, 7 oxygen os like this is oxygen os spy ui the settings ui and all uh, so let's just visit the display option and here you can see adaptive brightness sleep night mode reading mode screen calibration now some of the features may not work because they are designed for the OnePlus 7 Pro so yeah and you also have notch display so you can also hide the notch area and as you can see this is how it looks so it looks really great and uh, show the notch area will show it again uh, so let's go back uh, towards the uh, settings and you can see apps to display in full screen so full screen app support is also there you can enable it for PUBG or other games or other video applications also if it's not present there then ambient display we do not have the always on display but yeah we have this ambient display which actually does not work so yeah it does not work that is actually a bug so then we have wallpapers which we already checked then theme colorful uh, light dark i don't know colorful and i don't even show that but dark theme is one of the things which i really like in android so yeah here is the dark theme and dark theme looks really great but as of now I'm making the video so I will choose light theme yeah mm, okay great then we also have font manager but yeah sorry font switch we have Roboto and OnePlus Slate so let's switch to OnePlus Slate and that will give you a more OnePlus feeling so it will look like you are using a OnePlus phone then system status bar battery style a circle and hidden show battery percentage with the network speed time icon manager you can also enable disable icon so if i want to uh, disable or do not disturb icon you can easily disable it but the function is still on of course it's just an icon then going back uh, into uh, let's go back again and go into sound and vibrations with usual stuff but we also see some unusual stuff here dolby atmos so it has dolby atmos pre-built so you can move to movie music dynamic again you know, it's a default one so yeah you can choose according to your preferences also you have the earphone mode so you have some options regarding that then we have the phone ringtone and other stuff touch vibration vibration intensity intensity and this is the only uh, build in which uh, the vibration is working the one plus seven uh, or the one plus ten pro builds and yeah we have touch sounds and that sounds doesn't work i don't know why but yeah that's um, unusual but or maybe I have disabled them so it does not work yeah it does not work so yeah uh, now let's go into buttons and gestures we have navigation bar and gestures and yeah let's use the navigation gestures which are really great and you can see it will lag for like for first um, one two seconds but then it works really fine as you can see uh, yeah it looks really great and it gives us like the full screen experience which we want then we have quick gestures and we have three finger gesture so the three finger gesture also works uh, fine i'm not going to display something so yeah check this and yeah 
Can see three finger gesture works and also can I do the screenshot right away if you choose to tap on it. Then again let's move into settings and here we have a battery and user battery charging and stuff. Everything you will get here. Then we have digital well-being too. So yeah, that is great. So we have digital well-being. It will show you how much you are addicted to the phone or what not your all of the stats. Then into system we have this uh, system related stuff. Uh, yeah, every one plus phone has that. Into utilities which I miss now. We have the gaming mode which is was famous for one plus devices and I have added PUBG Mobile to it. So while you're gaming, you don't experience something, but it's like a do not disturb mode for gaming. I don't know. I don't actually use that, but yeah, just added that. Then we have parallel apps, and you can create parallel apps for Instagram and many supported applications. Also, we have app locker, so yeah, you can change it and just do it. Also, guys, if you want to uh, add the face unlock, uh, you have to disable it at first, or like of course it is not going to come at first. So it's into uh, system, and here. Uh, uh, right, uh, it's trying to lock screen, sorry. And here we go, uh, face unlock. Now this, you should not uh, use this one. So if you want to use face unlock, you have to input something like a pattern or a password. So I'm using a pattern here. And you have to use the Google face unlock. So yep, confirm, show notifications. Then go into smart unlock, enter your password or pattern, whatever. And then you will get trusted face. Uh, if it's not present, you can install it right away or use magic module. Now it's not present by default as you can see. Uh, and that is a big disappointment. Like while I'm making a video and it's it's not present. So yeah, that's it. You can like just install the APK and if it fails, you can use a magic module. Magic works fine with this. And yeah, into trusted agents also is not through anything. So yeah, it's still not working. So overall, it's a really great ROM. It's a really uh, stable build. So I'm really happy with. Also, Volte works fine, uh, as you can see. Uh, Volte icon, and also I can call something. So uh, uh, this is my regional language, by the way. So it is saying it is not a correct number. So yeah, that's it. Uh, Volte works and. What we have else is the camera now. The camera, the stock OnePlus OS uh, camera, the Oxygen OS camera has video broken, but it works in, uh, as you can see, it works here into the selfie mode, but not the photo mode. So I don't know why, but yeah, you can click photos, uh, portrait, I don't think it should work. And you can like easily flash ANS camera for Redmi Note Centro. So yeah, other features will work there. Then, uh, we can use this open camera app to record videos. So I'm using that app to record videos because the recording is broken as you can see. The recording works fine here. And yep. Can actually switch to capture. Okay. Recording also works. So everything here, whatever we required, is working. Just uh, there are a few uh, stuff which is not working now. Some of the things are like we can ignore it, but some things like battery, the battery drainage is really high on this ROM and which we cannot ignore. And if a person is using it for a high time usage, it will end in like uh, 16 hours if you're using it for high time. So your PUBG things are like really weak in this. So if you want to play PUBG, you can play like four or five matches, but you have to do some other work on Facebook or you have to like use chrome then yeah it is going to eat a lot of battery like chrome and google all services eat a lot of battery and this is like a deep loaded one so it won't be uh, getting that much of into a deep travel or deep sleep or issue but yeah the battery is going to be eating by the apps which are installed and as this is like a ported rom you don't expect a lot of battery like the stock uh, gives or the other usb roms give but yeah it's a great rom uh, after all, like we get OnePlus experience and smooth OS, like what else we need. So yes, uh, that's it. Uh, and after a long time, I'm making video with this new setup. So please guys, let me know if the setup is really good or not. And yeah, bye bye. I'll see you guys in the next video. And yeah, like I made this uh, hole in uh, like a one video pattern, not a small video pattern. So sorry for that. Like if there is some mistake, also my. A voice is not good now I have 
cold so please bear it for this uh, two three videos and yep uh, now i'll be starting making uh, more videos on this channel like for last two months i'm not making any videos here not posting anything uh, it's due to work but yeah i promise you guys now i'll be keep posting uh, videos daily like if possible i have work to do now too and yeah rate my uh, new setup i have bought a new camera also a new lens and a mic so please rate audio quality also uh please like this video if you have uh, liked it and if not then press the dislike button uh everything you have in your mind about this video about the uh, things happening you can post it down in the comment section and bye bye i'll be back for you guys with some new stuff for the Redmi Note 7 Pro or my other devices. Till then, bye bye.